Hello and welcome back to chapter 24. Uh, this chapter is about balance sheet, the second financial statement that the business usually prepares at the end of the year. In this chapter, we're going to explain the main elements of the balance sheet and we'll talk about many things regarding the balance sheet and we'll take some time explaining uh, what we can get out of the balance sheet. So the balance sheet uh, simply is an accounting statement that records the assets, liabilities, and owner's equity of the business at a certain date. This is as a definition. I'll explain what, uh, what are the assets and liabilities and owner's equity in a moment. So simply, if you want to see the financial position of the business, if you want to see the value of the business, you will look at the balance sheet. If you remember the income statement, we said it shows the details about profit of the business, all the revenue, the cost, expenses will be uh, there in the income statement. Here, somehow, it's a different picture. It's a different image because I'm going to see the value of the business and the balance sheet. So when I say assets, I'm talking about the resources owned by the business. And when I say liabilities, I'm, I'm talking about the debts that the business owe, of course, to someone. So I'm liable, I owe. Uh, I have assets I own and of course we have details we'll talk about them usually limited companies uh, publish their balance uh, sheet at the end of the year uh, of course uh, from chapter 4 we know that limited companies they have no secrecy in their accounts that's why they have to publish their accounts and of course these uh, uh, accounts are used by many stakeholders uh, including uh, investors uh, potential shareholders and uh, potential investors and customers, government, and many more, of course. So let's look at this, and from this I'll explain many other things. This is a layout of the balance sheet, and I'll tell you exactly what you need to understand and to know. First, if you look at the assets side, you see that we have something called non-current assets. Non-current assets are the assets owned by the business for a long period of time. So you see land, building, machinery, equipment, vehicles, all these uh, assets are not for sale. They are used by the business for a long period of time. The other type of assets is called current assets. Assets uh, uh, that I call current assets are assets that are easily converted into cash within a short period of time. So as if I'm saying they are used within a year. So when I say inventories, the goods that I have, accounts receivable, the debtors, balances, and cash. Let's stop here on accounts receivable. They ask you in the exam what is meant by trade receivables or what is meant by account receivables. Simply, I'm talking about the debtors who bought goods from the business on credit and will pay later. So sometimes we, we sell goods to, to, uh, to other businesses and these businesses won't pay us now as cash. They will pay us later. The money that they owe to us, the money that we should uh, uh, get back from them, is uh, uh, called accounts receivable. So your accounts receivable uh, uh, represents all the accounts of debtors, all the money that debtors uh, simply owe to the business. Like here, it's $50,000 in 2013. So this will give me total assets. And then liabilities side, what I owe. Also, I have current liabilities, what the business owes for a short period of time, like accounts payables and bank overdraft. For bank overdraft, you know, it's the facility that I arrange with the bank so that I take more than I, ha I have in my bank account. Of course, this is a short term, and we know this from Chapter 21. It's a short term finance. Accounts payable or creditors, it's the opposite of accounts receivable. So sometimes I buy goods from suppliers and I pay them later. And of course, the amount of money that I owe is under accounts payable. So under accounts payable, I'll see all the suppliers, all the creditors who I owe money. Then non-current liability is the long-term liability, what the business owes for a short, for a long period of time. Sorry. So here, of course, the most famous one is long-term loan. And this is what is required here in IGCSE. Of course, many details are there, but I'm just telling you what you need to know in IGCSE. So this will give you a total liabilities. Now the first balance is total asset minus total liabilities. As you see here, it's 860. Since it's called a balance sheet, it will show assets, liabilities, and there is uh, the third part, which is shareholders' equity or shareholders' funds. We call it shareholders' equity if we're not talking about limited companies. And we call it uh, somehow shareholder funds 
uh, if we are talking about limited companies. Uh, instead of equity, they usually say owner's equity if you're talking about sole traders or partnerships. However, it's shareholder's equity if we're talking about a business like it's limited. So mainly the shareholder funds of the business, the money invested by the owners in the business, this is the meaning of shareholder funds, comes from two places. The share capital, it's a when you sell shares, and the profit and loss account reserve, or the retained profit that is kept by the business and is used, of course, for finance. And yes, this profit and loss account reserve is the retained profit that we already calculated in the income statement. So, of course, this profit is needed for finance, and we add it to our capital. So when they ask you what is the shareholder funds, simply is the money invested by the owners in the business. So let's come here now and just illustrate more. Assets are what we own, are divided into two. As we said, non-current assets are owned by the business and expected to be used for more than a year. And we have many examples, famous examples, land building and machines and equipments. And current assets are cash or any other resource that the business expects to convert into cash within the 12 month. So we are talking here about assets that are used within a year. Of course, we have inventories, the stock, we have trade receivables, and we have cash. And as I said, we have many more, but for you, you need to know current assets are cash, trade receivables, the accounts of debtors, and of course, inventories. With respect to liabilities are the amounts owed by the business to stakeholders like suppliers or lenders like banks. And here, as, as we said, we have current liabilities, the short-term debts that we expect to pay within a year. And we have non-current liabilities, the long-term debts that the business expects to pay in more than a year, of course. And we have the owner's equity, the third part, which is the shareholder funds or the money invested by the owners in the business. And it includes two things, as we said, share capital and the retained profit. Now, if I look at the balance sheet, of course, I can see the assets that the business owns. I can see what the business uh, owes. I can see simply uh, who owes the business. I can see how to finance the business activities. So if you just go back to uh, this balance sheet, you notice that they took a bank loan, which is long-term liability, and the bank loan was $300,000 in 2013. So the balance sheet will, will tell me if, if, uh, if the business is relying on a long-term loan as a source of finance or not. It will give me details about the assets, as you can see. It will, it will give me details about the balances that I have in terms of debtors. So if I ask myself, uh, uh, for example, uh, how much debtors owe us, so I can see how much cash we have, so we can see. So many details are there in the balance sheet. In the balance sheet, I can calculate the working capital. If you go back also to the balance sheet and you see the working capital is simply current assets, which is here 140, minus current liabilities, which is 130. See, this is a calculation. Also, I can calculate the capital employed. Don't mix shareholder funds with capital employed. Shareholder funds, as you can see, the share capital of the business and profit and loss accounting reserve. It's the permanent capital invested by the owners in the business. However, when I talk about capital employed, Capital employees means the permanent capital invested by the owners in the business plus any long-term loan or non-current liability. So here, the capital employed of the business will be the shareholder funds, which is 860, plus any long-term loan that the business, of course, took from the bank for finance, and it's year 300. So the capital employed will be the summation of these two. So if they ask you about capital employed, now you know it's the shareholder funds plus long-term liability, which is long-term loan in this case. Okay, so the balance sheet and the income statement later on will help me to calculate ratios and we'll do this. Remember that the balance sheet is simply a snapshot. So when I say the balance sheet at 31-12-2018, it's 31-12-2018. Like the next day might be different uh, because different balances will be there. The balance sheet will always change. That's why we don't say it's uh, over a period of time. We say simply at a particular period of time, the date of balance sheet, of course. Okay, so this is uh, the balance sheet. You have to understand uh, the, the, the balance sheet assets, liabilities. Uh, you have to know that I can calculate working capital. You have to know that 
uh, uh, accounts payable represent uh, those who I owe money. Accounts payable, uh, re uh, receivable, sorry, represents those who they owe me money. So I have to understand these uh, concepts, how to calculate capital employed, how to calculate working capital, what is shareholder funds. So if you understand this, you're ready to start using rules to uh, analyze the business performance. And this is what we explain in chapter uh, 25.